Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about fraction words. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos. Let's jump to it! To solve fraction problems, we need to understand the words that the problem uses to describe the fraction. Understanding what these words, such as halves, quarters, thirds, and etc., mean will help us solve the problem. In this video, we are going to review what fractions are and talk about fraction vocabulary. I am going to show an example later in this video. We first review what fractions are. A fraction is a part of a whole. Usually, we see fractions displayed in quotient form. There are two parts that make up a fraction, a numerator and a denominator. The denominator shows the total number of parts that the whole has been split up into. The numerator shows how many of these parts have been taken. The important thing to remember is that each part that makes up the whole in a fraction is equal. So, if I had a circle and wanted to take one-fourth of the circle, that means I am splitting the circle into four parts and each part is equal in size. Then I will take one of those parts. This would not be a proper way to show a fraction, but this would be. Okay, now that we have reviewed fractions, let's get into a little bit of fraction vocabulary. It is important not to get the words used to describe the fractions confused. Let's try to understand them. When we talk about quarters, we actually mean fourths. A quarter is the same thing as saying one-fourth of a whole. Usually, when we think of a quarter, we think of money, like the coin. The funny thing is, when we talk about money, the coin itself represents a fourth of a dollar and four coins of equal value add up to a dollar. We should also discuss thirds. The word thirds is used when we are talking about something that is split into three equal pieces. Say if I had a pizza and I wanted two thirds of the pizza, I would have to cut the pizza into three equal pieces and take two of the pieces. Then. I would have two-thirds of the pizza. Okay, so what about half? Half means that we are taking something and splitting it into two equal pieces. If I were to take one of the pieces, I would be taking half. Anytime you have one half piece, you have a half. Anytime you have more than one half piece, you have halves. Let's imagine that I have a pizza and one half is pepperoni and the other half is mushroom. If I wanted only the pepperoni piece of pizza, I would take one half. But if I wanted both the pepperoni and mushroom of the pizza, I would now have two halves. One half is pepperoni and the other half is mushroom, but both halves are equal in size. Let me give you one more example. This example is included in a product called Guided Math Fractions Leveled Practice. The link to the full resource will be provided in the description of this video. This question is made up of two smaller questions. It asks, Circle the word that tells us how much is shaded in each picture. Pause the video now to answer with your class. Let's look at number one. I see a triangle that is cut into two equal pieces. So there are two halves present in the whole picture. Now let's look at the shaded portion. I only see one piece of the triangle shaded. So one half of the triangle is shaded. So this tells us our answer, one half. What about number two? 
Here, I see a rectangle that is cut into three equal pieces, or thirds. Two out of the three pieces are shaded. This tells me that two thirds of the rectangle is shaded. So that is our answer. For more word problems like this, check out this product by Literacy and Math Ideas titled Guided Math Fractions, Leveled Practice. The link to this product will be provided in the description of this video.